Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Bobo2000 and welcome to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how I use OBS to record my games lag free. So basically, OBS is a very interesting program to get used to, uh, but with a few tips and tricks I think you guys will be able to do it also. So the first thing that you want to do is go over to your scenes and basically click the pre press the plus button and title it whatever you want. I'm going to title this test and then all you do is go to the sources now depending on what you want to record this will vary so if you want to record your whole screen like I am doing right now you would do a display capture and that'll show your home monitor you can choose whatever monitor you want or if you want to record a game then you would go up to game capture okay and you would go to capture a specific window and pick what you want to record um, so for instance if I wanted to play Minecraft I would click Minecraft and boom easy done now I'm actually gonna go open Minecraft right now and show you guys a few tips and tricks alright so I have Minecraft open in full screen right now keep that in mind you want to have your game in full screen and I will show you why so if I go over and I do capture specific window and I see Minecraft is now here Minecraft 1.8.9 click it and then I click OK now it doesn't seem like it's up right now but if I go to Minecraft I click it and I back out boom there it is now the reason you want to do in full screen is because if you don't you'll have something that looks like this you'll have some black bars now there is a way to fix this all you have to do is click uh, right click it transform and go to fit to screen and it will drag it out as much as it can to make it fit the screen but I always do recommend recording in full screen just because it gives you a nicer gameplay experience and you won't have to worry about uh, setting all of this up now if you do want to record face cam like I do uh, occasionally you would just go here and click video capture device and that will show your face uh, you can change the settings and the resolution and stuff like that uh, just by double clicking here and all your settings will come up now this is also an important this this area it's important no one I don't really ever see anyone talk about it so I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about it for you guys uh, forget this desktop audio 2 is there that's just something extra I added um, but your basic thing that will come up is desktop and mic now you always want your mic to be louder uh, than your desktop right now it looks like the desktop is louder but my sounds always stay way down here so my mic is actually louder um, you just need to find a nice balance for yourself for this area and uh, figure out what works for you because you want your people to hear you not all only the game so yeah and then all you want to do is go to your settings and this is an important part so stream this is where you would set up what you want to stream where you want to stream stuff like that um, but I'm not here to show you that I'm here to show you how to record lag free so then you're gonna output this is an important section so first you'll be on the streaming tab but we're not streaming so you go to recording this is an important part so your recording path is where your videos will be saved to so just make sure it's a place that you are a member and you can access easily on your computer now your recording format uh, I go ahead and I just use mp4 because that's accepted by like every website and it's it's a lower file size and it's just a nice thing to use um, you can choose here how many audio tracks you want to record you can set this up if you want your uh, like your mic and your game to record different audio tracks you can edit that however you want um, I just go ahead and use one and I'm fine with that <coughs> excuse me and then your encoder this is also very important so basically I only have one which is my 264 that's because my graphics card is not good but if you do have a better graphics card it will come up here with a different option and you can use that if you want but keep in mind that will use more of your graphics card power which could lag your game or your recording your rescale output is what you want it, your video to actually record in and that kind of goes along with my video settings down here but this will come up come back up in one second when I get to the video settings uh, down here is also very important you want this to be on CBR which keeps your frame rate very smooth it keeps the video looking clean and nice and that's just basically what you want to use you could also go with uh, CRF but I definitely recommend CBR as the number one thing to use um, and then the bitrate, 
15,000 seems like a lot guys but it's really not um, bitrate is the thing that affects how your pixels look in your recording so uh, if pixels look kind of smooth or whatever they don't look like correctly it's just because you have a low bit rate um, so you might just want to keep this 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 affects your gameplay and if your recording is smooth or not so just play around with that and see what works for you now keeping in mind I don't have the best computer ever 15,000 seems like a pretty good number uh, for just about everybody YouTube's regular is 2,500 but anything above that is great and then you come down here to your uh, CPU usage preset um, I stay with super fast this is just how much your CPU is used um, which affects the video quality just a little bit uh, I say stay pretty low don't go above fast because anything like that will lag you um, so I just stay on super fast to be safe and that's it for the output settings uh, but if we go to audio settings uh, you want to go to your desktop audio and make sure that your main device for your speakers is clicked because that is what is going to record your sound throughout your computer um, and your mic is make sure that this is connected to your actual mic you don't want to be recording your headphones because for some reason that's an option sometimes uh, but the, yeah and if you want to do push to talk you can go ahead and do that down here but I just record all my audio and edit out what I don't want um, and then if you go to your video this is the next important section uh, I always record my videos my base resolution is 1920 by 1080 which is my full screen resolution but then I downscale it to 1280 by 720 what this does is it allows the video with not the greatest settings to look more quality so it's taking a 1920 by 1080 recording of not that good quality condensing it down and it keeps it at a better quality if that makes any sense to you I'm good for you if it doesn't make sense let me think of let, let's think of it this way if I take a Photoshop picture that is uh, 4,000 pixels by 4,000 pixels and it's really blurry but I bring it but then I scale it down to 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels it's gonna look a lot more crisp right so yeah that, that's kind of what you're doing here um, and your downscale filter uh, you always want to try to keep it as high as you can just see which one of these options works for you um, bilinear is gonna be kind of blurry for you uh, but either of these should be fine I'm just able to go with the highest one because I don't know and my computer lets me um, and then for your FPS value I would always say stay with uh, integer FPS value because that allows you to put in whatever you want here um, so your FPS value you want to record at 30 or above anything below that is going to look kind of jumpy to the viewer uh, so I always stay at 35 because anything above 30 is going to make the recording look pretty nice 30 itself is also good uh, but I just try to get that little bit of extra smoothness in my videos so I go with 35 if you want to record 60 FPS go for it good on you now if we go to hotkeys uh, I have start recording and stop recording uh, that's all I have here so uh, you, I don't use these you don't really need to use these either if unless you really want to work with it then go for it um, but I just use f8 and f9 because that usually doesn't affect a game too much so I just use those because it works and then if we go to advanced settings your process priority always keep this on normal because uh, you want your game to be higher or the same as your recording software just so it keeps everything all smoothed out and that's the only way I can really explain that to you guys uh, so just just keep it on normal and for your renderer keep it at the highest direct 3d that you have it's just gonna make your video look so much nicer um, for this color format I haven't really messed with any of this other stuff but my videos typically look alright so I'm just gonna say it works now this is how I record my games with absolute no lag how I make my games look smooth how I make it look kind of quality you know but I hope this video did help you if it did make sure you click a like and drop a comment uh, if you have any more tips or tricks or concerns or complaints please go ahead and drop it in the comment section uh, I'd be glad to listen to your ideas or help you out if you need it so just let me know guys and I hope you're all having a great day I hope you have a good day tomorrow and I will see all of you in the next one. Peace out.